we get to install tip tanks at advanced aircraft let's get in so there's the beast there's the tip tanks there they are there's instructions pieces so here we are we got the beast taking the cowling off so that we can do the injection line cleaning there's an ad on that and right now anthony is here and we're going to start taking off all the screws I didn't know that we had a power tool for this, so I'm sitting here using the old school manual way to remove these screws. And this is the owner, Dave and Anthony, looking at the sensor wires for the floats and figuring out how we're gonna use them because we're gonna upgrade to some more advanced sensors later. Back to getting screwy with it. Still didn't know that I had access to a power tool. So just trying not to strip these screws and make it look ugly. Here's Anthony not telling me about the power drill. I later got to use it. He was wearing a mask because he felt a bit sniffly. Thanks, Anthony. You're the best. So we got tips off, and this is the existing standard tip, lights, strobes, everything inside. Let's see what we got going on there. Now I'm going to go hit the other tip. So back at it still didn't realize I could use the power drill. Now I get to finish off, pop it off, put the blinder, put the tip up top, hope it doesn't fall, disconnect the cables. This is where Anthony becomes so kind and lets me use the power drill. So much easier. This is the six foot six wide stance that you need under a high wing. Guess it's better than a low wing. Ugh. That'd be a pain in the butt, a lot of cart time. And what I'm doing is I'm collecting them all in a little cup, and then I'm screwing that third or seventh screw so that the panel stays up and we're not hunting and pecking, looking for the panel somewhere else. It's a nice little technique that these mechanics have picked up over time. Yeah, get a good stretch. Then I need to take off the landing and taxi light cover, make sure I don't lose any of the screws or drop it after I take it off. So Anthony is removing the seats. We've got some inspection plates. I'm not sure which one those are, so I guess I should probably put those with it on the other side. The light, so there's the light cover. The tip off, and we got the rest of these inspection plates all removed. And we've got all these ones removed as well, with two I've got to take off and put in on my own, but there you go. Just getting disemboweled.